now you are going to learn about the square number square number means you know it is the, the number multiple by itself is called a square number now in exercise 1.4 the third problem find the square of the following numbers that is 17 203 1098 we want to find square square of the 17 square of 203 square of 1098 the first problem square of 17 square of 17 means you know what i said the square number the number multiple by itself the square of 17 is written as 17 square so that is, is equal to 17 into 17 that is a square number you know 289 otherwise you not know about the square number uh, like a formula you have to make a normal multiplication the second problem square of two, 203 so that is 203 square so that is 203 into 203 so 203 and 203 the normal multiplication you have to make you get the value 41209 now fourth question examine if each of the following is a perfect square the first problem 725 second problem 190 third problem 841 fourth problem 1089 for this one we have to check it is a perfect square you have to use the prime factorization method for the prime factorization method already you are learned in the previous classes that is for a 725 for a, you have to use only prime numbers first it is end with 5 you select the table 5 1 5 is 5 balance 2 4 5 are 20 then balance 2 5 5 are 25 then again 5 that is 2 5 are 10 then again 4 4 is a balance so the next number is 45 9 5 is a 45 29 is a prime number prime number divided by itself so 29 one time so now you have to check we want to check it is a it is a square number so how you have to write square number means you know pair of numbers you have to arrange for 5 2 numbers are there so 29 not our pair so take and write separately that is 5 square into 29 for here 5 has a pair 29 not have a pair so here 29 does not have a pair so 725 is not a perfect square second and third sum try yourself now fourth problem 1089 for it is end with 9 so you have to check 3 table for 3 3 is a 9 balance 1 so next number is 18 6 3 is a 18 3 3 is a 9 again 3 1 3 is 3, 2 3 is a 6, 1 3 is 3. 121 is a square number that you know 11 11 is a 121. Then again 11 divided by 11. So now you check the pair of numbers. For 3 have a pair, 11 also have pair. So 1089 is written as 3 square into 11 square. So these two numbers have a pair. So we say it is a perfect square number. Fifth problem find the square root by prime factorization method for here given six problems three sums i am going to teach to you the first problem 144 second problem 256 third one 784 1156 fifth problem 4761 sixth problem 9025 first problem square root of 144 so use the prime factorization method the same way you have to find for first 2 is possible it is 72 then again 2 is possible that is 36 then again 2 is possible that is 18 then 18 uh, 18 divided by 2 is 9 then you use the 3 table 3 3 is 9 again 3 is divided by 3 1 so now you have to make a pair of numbers 2 square 2 square 3 square so 144 is written as 2 square 2 square 3 square why we make we are making this as a pair because square and square root become cancelled so you write it as a pair of numbers so 144 equal to 2 square into 2 square into 3 square so we want to find the square root value for this is square root of 144 that is square root of what value we found 2 square into 2 square into 3 square square and square root cancel square and square root cancel square and square root cancel so that means 2 into 2 into 3 for inside the root we have a square number we have a square root so square and square root become cancelled so 2 into 2 into 3 so that is 2 to are 4 4 3 is 12 so therefore square root of 144 is equal to 12 fourth problem 1156 
that is the same way you have to use only prime number 2 table 5 twos are 10 balance on 7 twos are 14 balance on 8 twos are 16 then again 2 2 twos are 4 balance on 8 twos are 16 balance on 18 9 twos are 18 289 is a square number of 17 square so 17 17 times the, then again 17 is uh, one time so now for you have to make a pair of numbers 2 square into 17 square so square root of 1156 is equal to square root of 2 square into 17 square square and square root cancel square and square root cancel so 2 into 17 that is, is equal to 34 so therefore square root of 1156 is equal to 34 for a sixth problem 9025 it is end with 5 so you have to check with the 5 table 1 5 is 5 balance 4 that is a 40 8 phase of 40 then 2 is not divisible by 5 so write 0 then you take these two digits together once again listen 1 5 is 5 balance 4 40 8 phase of 40 then again 2 2 divided by 5 is not possible so you have to write 0 then you have to write, take these two digits together that is 5 5 are 25 then again 5 table 3 5 are 15 balance 3 6 5 are 30 1 5 is 5 361 is a square number for 19 so that is 19 19 then again it is 19 1 so you make a pair of numbers 5 square 19 square so it is 9025 is written as 5 square into 19 square square root of 9025 is equal to square root of 5 square into 19 square square and square root cancel square and square root cancel so that is, is equal to 5 into 19 that is, is equal to 95 so therefore square root of 9025 is equal to 95 sixth problem find the square root by long division method previous um, problem is a prime factorization method that is a long division method for here also given 5 problems, first problem 1764, 6889, third problem 11025, fourth problem 17956, fifth problem 418609. For a long division method we have to follow some of the rules. First we have to write the given number in the square root symbol, then you make the numbers from the start from the right hand side for like this you have to arrange pair of numbers for pair of numbers means you know two two numbers make a pair suppose any number not have a pair you leave that number as a single digit so that is for here 1764 is there that is one two one two two pairs are there then you have to follow uh, the on a second rule is you have to use only the square number that is a 1 into 1, 2 into 2, 3 into 3, 4 into 4 like this you have to follow. Now for it is for the first pair 17. For 17 you have to use which square number is suitable. For that is a 4 square is suitable. 4 into 4. 4 fours are 16. Suppose you are selecting 5. 5 fives are 25. Not less than, uh, not more than this number you have to find. That is uh, 4 times possible 4 4 are 16 the rules are same the normal division that is 17 minus 16 equal to 1 then bring down the next pair next pair is a 64 now we have the number 164 next what value you find in the quotient that you multiple by 2 that is 8 4 2 are that is for this value multiple by 2 that is 4 2 are 8 now you have to find 8 multiple with which number you get 164 you have to satisfy this number 164 so that is you have to substitute the values for we have to use a square number so it, it is end with 4 so you have to apply some of the um, rules that is end with 4 mean 2 2 sar 8 8 sar like this number you have to check first to 2 table we have to check that is normal multiplication 2 2 sar 4 a to sa 16 now you check it is satisfied so it is two times for right here two and right in the quotient also that is 164 then you have to subtract zero therefore square root of 1764 equal to 42 third problem 11025 square root of 11025 for 11025 first you have to arrange the pairs that is 1 2 for a 25 
h01 that this one not our pair so we keep the last digit as same that is now you have to find the values for one first you find this is one for which square number is possible one into one so one into one so that is one subtract this to zero bring down the next pair zero it has no value so you no need to write zero bring down the next digit is 10 for now for a 10 here you have a 2 for a 1 into 2 what what quotient you have that you multiply by 2 that is a 2 1 into 2 is 2 now 10 for you have a 2 for any number you write any digit you write here 1 2 3 that is more than this 10 so it is not possible so bring down the next digit before bring down the next digit you write 0 in the quotient and in the divisor side so here on 0 here on 0 now you have to check this 20 along with this some digit you have to get 1025 so end with 5 means you know which square number is possible that is 5 now we have to check 5 5 5 is 25 balance to 0 into 5 0 0 plus 2 2 2 5 are 10 1025 now you have to subtract these two it is 0 so square root of 11025 equal to 105 fifth problem 418609 when you make a pair for that is 9 0 from the right right to left you have to arrange the pairs then for the first pair you have 41 for this 41 which square number is possible so that is 6 is possible 6 6 are 36 you have to subtract this to you get 5 bring down the next pair that is 86 so now you have the new dividend 586 here the next procedure is for what quotient you get that you multiple by 2 that is 12 then now we want to find 12 along with this a 500 which number you have to write you get 586 for it is end with 6 so 4 we have to check 4 4 are 16 balance 1 2 4 are 8 8 plus 1 9 1 4 is 4 then suppose it is not equal to this so you have to check one more time you have to check that is 5 5 for here what value write the same value you have to write here same number you have to write here that is 5 5 are 25 balance to 10 12 balance 1 6 that is 625 so more than this number so 4 is possible so you have to subtract these two you get 6 minus 6 0 18 minus 9 is 9 then bring down the next pair that is 9 0 9 0 9 now the second step first step complete after that quotient multiple by 2 that is 12 then you have to write for now the next number is for this fully you have to multiple by 2 64 is multiple by 2 that is 4 2s are 8 6 2s are 12 128 that is that 128 multiple with which number you get 9009 for end with 9 the square number we have 3 and 7 so 7 is possible so 7 is possible you have to check 7 7 are 49 balance 4 8 7 are 56 56 plus 4 60 balance 6 2 7 are 14 14 plus 6 20 balance 2 1 7 is 7 9 so 9009 so you have to subtract these to 0 so what number you are right here the same have to write in the quotient so therefore square root of 4 lakh 18609 equal to 647